Welcome to Kids Cove News with iCampus Kids. From Miss Ashley, Miss Teresa, myself, and the entire iCampus Kids team, we want to wish you a very Merry Christmas. We are so very thankful that you have chosen to be a part of this exciting ministry with us, and we are excited to celebrate Christmas with you. This is our last Kids Cup news for 2021. That's right, it really is. So let's just jump right into today's episode of iCampus Kids. Mm -hmm. You know, we pray today is an extra special day for you and your family as we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ together. Send us pictures of your family together to children's at firstdallas.org. Merry Christmas and, and Happy New, New Year from, from iCampus, iCampus Kids. Kids. Hey, I came for kids. My name is Yancey. I hope you had an amazing Christmas. We have so many reasons that we can choose to be joyful today. So let's put a smile on our face. Let's sing and let's celebrate that Jesus has been born for us. Come on, everybody. Let's sing this together. Welcome to iCampus Kids. I'm Miss JJ, your Bible teacher, and I'm so glad you've joined me today. The Bible is God's Word. God helped men write it so we can know for sure that everything in it is completely true. For the next few weeks, we're going to consider the big question, what is worship? Worship is valuing and treasuring something more than anything else. When we worship God, we value and treasure God above everything else. When we worship God, we are celebrating the greatness of God. As we grow more in our understanding of who God is, we will discover more and more about why He is the only one worthy of our worship. We've already seen many ways God has shown His worth. 
God created the world and everything in it. He promised to send a rescuer when sin entered the world. He promised the rescuer would come from Abraham's family. He used many miracles to free his people from slavery in Egypt and kill their enemies. His people responded with worship. They sang songs about the greatness of God. Today, we're going to find out what happened next. We're going to read from the book of Exodus. Exodus is the second book in the Old Testament and is a book of the law. Exodus records true things that really happened with real people. At this point in history, God's people, the Israelites, had crossed the Red Sea. Pharaoh's army died when the water went back in its place. The Israelites were finally and totally free from the Egyptians. They were going through the wilderness to the land God had promised them. After all the ways God showed his power and helped his people, surely they were grateful and followed him with thankful hearts, right? Well, I used emojis to summarize the main events of what happened next. What do you think they represent? What do you think happened? Hmm, what could the emojis mean? Hmm, decide what you think they mean. We will read the passage and then see if you are correct. I'm going to read from Exodus 16 and 17. When I read about the Israelites being thankful and grateful, give me a thumbs up. When I read about the Israelites complaining about things, give me a thumbs down. In the desert, the whole community told Moses and Aaron they weren't happy with them. The Israelites said to them, we wish the Lord had put us to death in Egypt. There, we sat around pots of meat. We ate all the food we wanted, but you have brought us out into this desert. You must want this entire community to die of hunger. The Lord said to Moses, I have heard the people of Israel talking about how unhappy they are. Tell them, when the sun goes down, you will eat meat. In the morning, you will be filled with bread. Then you will know that I am the Lord your God. That evening, quail came and covered the camp. In the morning, the ground around the camp was covered with dew. When the dew was gone, thin flakes appeared on the desert floor. They looked like frost on the ground. The people of Israel saw the flakes. They asked each other, what's that? They didn't know what it was. Moses said to them, it's the bread the Lord has given you to eat. The Israelites called the bread manna, which means what is it? God told them to only get enough food for each day and to get twice as much food on the sixth day because there wouldn't be any food to collect on the seventh day, the Sabbath day, a day of rest. The Israelites did not always obey. Sometimes they tried to collect more than what God said, but the extra always went bad and they could not eat it. Sometimes they tried to collect manna on the Sabbath day, but there wasn't any to collect. The Israelites ate manna for 40 years. They traveled from place to place, just as the Lord commanded. They camped at Rephidim, but there wasn't any water for the people to drink. So they argued with Moses. They said, give us water to drink. Moses replied, why are you arguing with me? Why are you testing the Lord? But the people were thirsty for water there. So they told Moses they weren't happy with him. They said, why did you bring us up out of Egypt? Did you want us, our children, and our livestock to die of thirst? Then Moses cried out to the Lord. God told Moses to hit a specific rock with his staff. Water came out of it for the people to drink. How many times did you give a thumbs up? Zero. These verses did not record gratitude or thankfulness. How many times did you give a thumbs down? Two. The first time that people complained when they were hungry and they didn't just whine a little bit, they questioned God's plan and said they were better off in Egypt. God was faithful to provide what they needed even though they did not always obey his instructions on collecting the food. God was teaching them about himself, about his trustworthiness and about obedience. They didn't seem to have learned much by the time they camped at a place with no water. Did they think about how God had continually provided miracle food for them? Did they turn to God and ask for his help? 
Nope, they complained again. God was gracious and merciful. He miraculously provided water from a rock. To review what happened, let's look back at our emoji summary and see what the emojis represent from our passage. We will see if your predictions were correct. The people had no food. They complained. God told them what to do. In the evenings, God provided quail. In the mornings, God provided manna. The people had enough food for each day. The people had no water. They complained. God told Moses what to do. Moses took his staff and hit a rock. Water came out of the rock. The people had water to drink. Did you guess correctly? Now that you know what happened, can you use the emojis to tell someone else what happened? Or can you draw your own emoji summary to tell the main events? The people did not remember what God had done for them. Let's do what we can to remember God's faithfulness. God provided manna for his people's physical needs. He provided his son, Jesus, for our spiritual needs. We cannot save ourselves from sin, but God provided his son, Jesus, to be the payment for our sins. The Israelites needed bread to live for a little while, but whoever trusts in Jesus will live forever. In Jesus, we can be saved from the punishment we deserve and have eternal life. And now it's time for the Wheel of Wonder, the time in our lesson when we spin the wheel and wonder. What will our Wheel of Wonder question be today? It landed on yellow. Our Wheel of Wonder question for today is, what was the manna like? The Bible gives us a little bit of information about what it was like. Pieces of manna were thin flakes. They looked like frost on the ground. What does frost look like? This is a picture of frost on a field. Manna was white like coriander seeds. This is a picture of coriander seeds. It tasted like wafers made with honey. Oh, that sounds delicious. It also looked like sap from a tree. Here's a picture of sap from a tree. It's a thick, slow-moving liquid. That's how the Bible describes manna. It was like nothing they had ever seen before. Putting all these descriptions together, it sounds to me kind of like a thin, flaky, soft honey biscuit. I bet it was delicious. And although the Bible doesn't say, I imagine God also made it nutritious because he used it and the quail in the evenings to feed the people for 40 years. Based on how the scriptures describe manna, what do you think it was like? God is amazing. He provided so graciously for his people. Unfortunately, they didn't trust him to provide for them. And when God did provide for them, they didn't respond with worship or even thanksgiving. They took what God gave them and went on with their lives. God deserves to be worshiped. He deserves to be valued and treasured more than anything else in our lives. God is gracious and merciful. He is patient with us and works in our lives to help us trust him. Will you remember what God has done for the Israelites and for you? Will you value and treasure God more than anything else? Let's pray. Holy Father, there is no one like you. You are mighty. You are loving. You provide for us even though we don't deserve your good gifts. Please help us learn from your word. Help us remember all you have done. Please help us to know you better and love you more. Help us to worship you. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Well, sweet friends, I've loved studying God's Word with you today. There's so much more for us to learn together. Be sure to join me next time on iCampus Kids. I'm Brandon, and I'm excited to be here with you guys today. Now, I got a question for you. Who wants to play a game? Okay, I do. We're going to play charades. And remember, I'm going to act something out, and all you need to do is just try to guess what it is without me using my words. Okay, ready? Let's go.
Did you get it? What did you think? Did you think I was finding things and I was collecting? Did you also guess that God provided? <laughs> okay, well today we're gonna to be talking about that God had rescued and provided for the Israelites and he has shown them his faithfulness. Now about a month goes by and we hear the people start complaining again. But this time, it isn't because that they're thirsty. This time they are upset because there is no food. In fact, they ask Moses what he is up to. Now the Israelites said to them, if only we had died by the Lord's hand in Egypt, there we sat around pots of meat and ate all the food we wanted, but you have brought us out into the desert to starve this entire assembly to death. Now, can you imagine that? Now, God says that bread is going to fall from the sky. In this case, bread is going to fall, okay? If we heard that bread was gonna fall from the heaven today, what would you expect? Well, God did rain down bread from heaven, and here's how Moses described the bread that fell from heaven. The people of Israel called the bread manna. It was like white, like coriander seed, you know, like what I have right here. Like coriander seed, okay? Now, and it tasted like wafers made with honey, okay? Now, the bread looked like seeds, and you may be thinking to yourself, this doesn't really look like bread. And God said he was going to send bread from heaven. God told Moses to tell all the people to take the coriander seed, okay, or the manna as they called it, and grind it up. So that it would kind of look like flour. You know when you have flour and it's just all white and it's all, it's just powdery? So we wanted it to look like flour and then to bake it into bread. Now God sent the exact ingredients that they needed to make the bread in the wilderness. Not only that, but every morning when the food came, it fell on top of the dew. You know in the morning when you go outside and the grass is a little wet, even though it hasn't rained, that's dew. God sent this food and put it on top of the dew. It was like he was protecting the food from getting all dusty and dirty on the desert floor. Now, if we're really being honest, bread is good when we're starved, but plain bread doesn't sound that delicious. It sounds kind of plain and boring. I mean, who wants to eat plain bread every day for the rest of their life? Not me. But this wasn't just any bread. Moses tells us that it tasted like honey and like pastries. Oh, I love some honey and love pastries, like donuts and, and good delicious desserts. But there's one more thing about this bread that we need to understand. This wasn't just any old bread. This was the bread that angels eat. The idea here is that if the bread fit for angels and for kings and for people in high places, this wasn't plain bread that we all might think of. This is the bread of the angels. How cool is that? Now later, they were at camp without water and God even showed Moses a rock and told him to hit it with his staff and water came out of it. God sure was looking out and providing for his people. He provided manna and water for their physical hunger. He would later provide Jesus for their spiritual hunger. God is great, and we can celebrate his greatness by worshiping him. He truly is the bread of life. I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Mm. Merry Christmas, iCampus kids. Miss Ashley, Christmas is my favorite. <laughs> oh, we know, Miss Shelley. <laughs> it really is the best. And today we have an exciting game to play, and we need your help. Yes, it is called the What Is It Game. Today's lesson was how God provided manna in the wilderness for the Israelites, and manna means what is it? So we have this beautiful box here, and we have gathered all sorts of things in it, and we need your help guessing what everything is. We are going to take turns describing an object in the box, and you guess what it is. Are you ready? Ready. All right, Michelle, you go first. Here we go. Okay, this is gonna be fun. All I right. wonder. Let's see. Oh, I wonder what this is. It's soft. It's real soft. Okay. It's good size. So, are you ready for me to what pull it What do you think? Out? What do you think? What do you think it is? Um, I think it might be like, I think it's a blanket maybe. Ooh, okay, let's see. Okay, let's is it a blanket? 
is. Oh, it that is. is a soft blanket. It's that a is blanket. Perfect. I Ooh, love that's that. That's warm on this Christmas day. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. All right. I'll go next. Let's All see. right. Let's see. You gotta find something good. Ooh. Okay. This is round, and it feels like it might be bouncy. Ooh. Okay. Is it a bouncy ball? <gasps> It's a it ball. is. It's a it's kids' coat kids bouncy ball. ball. I love these. Yeah. Do too. That's light up too. Okay. Next. Those are fun. All right. Okay. I keep getting these soft things. <laughs> so this is really soft. Okay. And it feels like it has maybe that's little ears. Ooh. Well, you already put and on a the nose. Blanket. Oh. Okay. I think I know what it I is. I think I feel arms. Do you oh, know what I, it is? I think I know what this is. Oh, and all right. I hope. I hope some of you got one of these for Christmas. Pull it out and see what it is. Oh, it's got to be a teddy bear. Oh, yeah. And it is. Look that at that. That is perfect. He's the cutest little teddy bear. We love teddy bears. We and love them. They're so on. soft. I love it. Okay. Okay. Next, let's see. Let's see. Oh, I don't know what this is. What does it feel like? Um, it feels like it has straps, maybe. It's kind of small. Um, and then it's flat on the bottom. Uh, I don't know. Do you guys have a guess? Oh, it's a shoe. A shoe. Okay. It's a sandal. It's a baby sandal. I love that. It's a baby shoe. Aww, that's okay. Cute. Somebody lost a shoe. Ooh. All okay. right. Your turn. What else? <laughs> oh, I hear that one. I don't think that's what I have though. I think I hit oh. it. This feels kind of. I don't Let's know. See. It feels velvety. And it has like a bottom out, like a, <laughs> I don't know, like, can I just pull it out? Sure, session? go I for it. I don't know what this is. Oh, <laughs> it's a poinsettia flower. Oh, that's so pretty. I that, love those that was at hard. Christmas. They that are was pretty a hard at Christmas. One. That was a hard they one. Are. Okay, we have a couple okay. more. Are you ready? All right, yeah. Okay. Oh, this one has a weird shape to it, but it feels like... Okay, it's kind of curved. And, okay, I'm just gonna pull this one out because I think it's a banana. <gasps> it is a banana. It is I a banana. I love it, love it. Okay, it's gonna your turn. me wanna have a banana. Perfect. Okay. All right. All right. What do you think? This has, so I know the shape of this is like a letter J. Okay. It feels like a J. Okay. Totally feels like a J. What do you think it is? Mmm, I don't know. It has, let's see. <gasps> Look at that. Yes, it's it a candy It is a J if you turn it this way for Jesus. But yes, it is a candy, candy cane. cane. Perfect. Okay. I love that. Just Very in time fun. for Christmas. Perfect. Just in okay. time. Let's see. Oh, okay. Okay, this one makes noise. And it sounds like Jingle Bells. Oh, it yeah. Is. It is. Got some Jingle Bells. Perfect. Great. Such fun. Great. Okay. Okay, what else do we <laughs> okay, this is cold when I oh, touch it. Cold. Yeah, it feels like some kind of. It's not of... chocolate milk, is it? No, it's <laughs> not chocolate milk. It's smooth, hmm. and it feels cold. like it has an opening in it, kind of like a pot or something. Is it okay? Or, let me let me okay. pull it out and see. Is it big? Oh, look! Oh, that's it's a truck. Neat. That's a ceramic truck. That's why that it's cold is and so hard. so pretty. That is yes. so pretty. I love okay. that. Okay. Okay. I think we have a few more. Okay. So this is round, and if I shake it, it makes a noise. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Is that a rattler? Maybe. It might be a baby rattle. Maybe. Maybe. Oh. It's your favorite, Miss Ashley. Oh, yeah. It's a jar of M&M's. M&M's. You can Perfect. put those on your desk. Yes. I love it. Okay. Okay. There's a few more. Do you still have? Okay. Maybe there's only one or two more. Oh, okay. So this is round. Okay. We it already pulled out a ball. It has a stem on it. Oh, okay. And since you pulled out a banana, I I bet this is an apple. Ah, oh, perfect. It's an apple. Perfect. Was that our last one? Can I pull? Oh. oh, no. There's one. All right, oh. since I peek, you have to do it. Okay. There's one more. All right, this is kind of rubbery, and it 
has an end on it that feels, okay. I don't know what this okay. is, Miss Ashley. Maybe it's a special spoon. Okay. Yeah. Is it a scoop? It, oh, look at this. It is it a is. special spoon. It's a baby tool. So it's, it's a, a spoon, spoon and a fork, I think, on this side. Yes, it so. is. Oh, that was it so is. much fun. That was great. How many did you get right? All right. I don't know. Boys and girls, God provided water and manna for the Israelites' physical hunger in the wilderness. And later, God provided his son, Jesus. And that is what Christmas is all about. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. And that is from John 6.35. And we know that everything that we read in the Bible is real and true. Mm -hmm. God is always faithful to keep his promises. And God always provides exactly what we need. Boys and girls, challenge your parents or a sibling or a friend to this what is it game. You need a box or even a bag to put things in and then gather up as many crazy items as you can. Let them play to see how many items that they can guess correctly. We always have so much fun with you on iCampus Kids. Let's close today with one more song of worship with Yancey. See you next week on iCampus Kids. Merry Christmas! One of my favorite Bible verses in the Christmas story is Luke 2, 19. It says, but Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. See, Mary remembered what God was doing in her life. She didn't forget about it. She thought about it. She remembered what God had done. And you and I can learn from that. Let's think about the things that God did for us and for our family and our friends throughout this past year. I'm sure that you've seen God move. I'm sure you've seen God be present and maybe fill you up with his love and his joy throughout this year. Let's remember that and let's think about it as we sing and worship today to honor the name above all names. What a beautiful name it is, what a beautiful name it is, what a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus. You were the word at the beginning, one with God, the Lord most high. Nothing compares to this What a wonderful name
thank you for all the amazing things that you have done for us this year. We give you all the praise. Amen. Amen.